सो ही गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ कैन वी इम्प्लीमेंट लेवल लॉक एंड अनलॉक सिस्टम लाइक कलेक्टिंग अ कॉइन्स रीचिंग अ स्पेसिफिक लोकेशन किलिंग एनिमीज एंड देन द नेक्स्ट लेवल शुड गेट एन लॉकड सो लेट्स ही आई केम टू माई मी लेवल सेलेक्ट स्क्रीन हेयर वी टेक फोर लेवल्स आई क्लिक ऑन टू थ्री फोर नथिंग इज ओपनिंग आई क्लिक ऑन वन एंड इन दिस आई कलेक्ट टू कॉइन्स इन दिस लेवल यू कैन कलेक्ट एनी मच अमाउंट ऑफ कॉइन्स सेट टू एनी अमाउंट फॉर ईच डिफरेंट लेवल लाइक टू फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट्स ए फॉर लेवल टू यू वॉन्ट थ्री कॉइन्स टू बी कलेक्टेड फॉर लेवल थ्री यू वॉन्ट फोर कॉइन्स टू बी कलेक्टेड एंड फॉर लेवल फोर यू वॉन्ट फाइव कॉइन्स टू बी कलेक्टेड इट इज़ अ वेरी डायनेमिक सिस्टम एंड इजी टू इम्प्लीमेंट सिस्टम यू कैन डू इट वेरी इजीली एंड हेयर लेवल ऑल लेवल फोर आर अनलॉक्ड एंड आई कैन क्लिक ऑन लेवल टू अगेन एंड स्टार्ट माई लेवल टू अगेन it will be unlocked only once it unlock it will be unlocked only so let's see how get it done so first create a main save game like one save game for your game which will be the main save game which which will you find in blueprint class in all classes search for save game and here it is and select save game and name it to main save game or any other name which you want so double click on it and open it and create two variable one is level and other is coin and create one take one level zero already take as exemption and other four levels are my main level so untick other all four levels it should make sure it should be a array and a boolean and other coins should be an integer so let's come into my main character which is my bad man bp and the event begin play i load game from slot my slot name is 1 and cast to my main save game which is my save game i created and create and store a reference for it as a variable and then create a coin and save it to a low integer which is total coin and it is nothing to do with the integer not allow it now but later on it will be used in ui so it is easy to like how much coins i have collected from all the levels doesn't matter how many times i played so next step is to go in the coin section where your coin is created and uh, i have created and say where you add coins so this is my coin where on the overlapping my coin when my character overlaps the coin it gets add to my like uh, player so here i have cast to my game mode i have created a game mode which is storing my all the variables values so all the values of coins let let me show you so here is my coins multi points multiplier and high scores and other scores so i have taken up bad me oh my game mode and when i overlap from the collision and as well as my magnet collects any coin it will add one coin using and save it to a integer and then i take a badman ref like which my character reference and on the when character reference and from that i have created a, a, taken a main save game which i have stored here only earlier then then from using main save game i save game to slot and coins collected from and uh, save that coins earlier and after that i have just sound and make sure that the coin is used no more to pick then destroy the actor after that i have created one more actor which is my blueprint which is an actor blueprint class and it is my objective it has simple box which is nothing to do it which is hidden in game and on the event playing begin play i store a reference for my main character and load quick game from slot which is my slot name earlier and cast it to my main save game then on even tick i cast it to my game mode and the coin which i have like store and make sure that and create and created a branch that whenever my total coin is equal to the coin collected and that it will cast my character and main save game and levels and set an array which is this main save game and set an array and level number which is the level number assigned to the different level of your games so you just set array elements and make sure that item is ticked on 
and level number make them variable and it should be an instance editable most do both total coin and level number should be instant editable and then save game to slot and after a delay of one second it will open my main menu then i will go and come back to my map one all the maps and in all the maps you should place one objective like this bp objective in your map anywhere anywhere it should be hidden doesn't mean matter and then go into details panel go into details panel the total coin which we are set is the amount how many coins should be collected in this level for example i have taken two coins and what is the level number of this level so this is my first map one which so i have given him a level number one then i have came to my level select ui which i created a basic ui and with four levels then go into graph and on event construct i this is store a reference for my game instance and then after that i check does games slot exist of one and if it doesn't exist i created a game slot game object which is my main save game object then store a reference for it and after that i have save game to slot and if it is true i just loaded a game from slot and cast to it my save game it is my main save game only and then save game i just added a restore a reference for both after that i came down to my levels button this is my exit button which is nothing to do with this is my level button button level one should have no blueprints no code because we want level one to be open always so directly it's open and here is the input mouse which is just a mouse input and but in level two i just get like get a reference of my main save game which i which was earlier i stored then from that i check it is valid and then from which i check take our levels and get a copy of it and check that its value is equals to one for level two we i have checked that level is value is to one because because i want to know that level one should get completed after that only level two should get unlocked and after that i just run a print string and open my level main menu although that level sorry level two and i have done this for all the other levels and this is the simple code you can do this for any other example like for if you want to kill the enemies and then open the next level you can do this if you find any problem just comment down i will provide you a solution thank you